Hi, welcome to Create with Christy. I'm Christy and today I'm going to show you how to make a pineapple using seashells. So everyone's hopefully having a good summer so far and if you've gone to the beach or have seashells left over, this is a great craft. Or you can simply go to the dollar store and buy some shells there. So we have quite a selection. I like the beach. So I brought these in and they actually, we're gonna be doing a couple things this month. Um, and into August, I should say, using some shells. So we have some shells. Also, I did bring up some some glass. Um, sea, seashell glass? I'm not sure what they call it. Sea glass? I think that's it, sea glass. That you could use. I don't know if I'm going to, but I did bring it up in case we need some added touches. I have some shells over here, some pretty nice little strawberry kind of looking ones. But then when I got to thinking about it, I might go ahead and use the darker color shells, which I have and I've kind of played with. The most important thing about this craft, I mean, overall, it's very simple. It does come together quickly. The only challenge that I think you may have is placing your shells where you want them on the paper. Um, you don't really want them flat unless you have all the same kind of shells just because you want the pineapple so it's kind of want a curved to, um, look to it. So put your shells down and then kind of when you're layering it up to make a pineapple you want it to have a curved look. So you're going to need to have a glue gun, some glue sticks, some shells. I'm not sure if like E6000 glue would be helpful with this craft just because it won't set as quickly as you're going to need it to do the next layer. So find your seashells if you're going to be using this is actually cardstock that I have down but I thought it might be nice if you would get a frame from the dollar store and use that because it does have a harder back to it and then you could um, hang it up on the wall very easily but I'm going to show you how to do it using cardstock so first thing first get your shells and then figure out how you're going to actually set it I'm going to go ahead and choose to put three on the bottom and I believe I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue in case I want to pop up my layer on the bottom because I don't want it to be flat. So you're just going to go ahead and put the glue on the very bottom like I did and then continue to layer it. And this is when you're going to have to decide how you want yours to look. What shell you want on top, what shell you want on the bottom and then very slowly build up. So I think I'm going to put mine that way. Once you have it, you're going to add a little bit more glue to hold that next layer in place. And you know, this is somewhat forgiving that if you don't do it correctly, you can pop it back up. Um, but it's going to take a pretty good amount of glue just because of the layering effect. And I have a little bit of sand left over. Memories of the beach, always good times. Second layer, I want it to be a little bit more curved. I don't think you can go wrong with seashells ever. They always remind people of such happy times vacationing. And if you notice on that one, it's a little bit above. I want it to have that curved look, kind of like a, what you think a pineapple would. And you may have to take them on and off until you get the actual look, which of course with the glue gun, it does dry pretty quick. And they're harder to move. So lay it out before you start um, gluing just so you can get the results you want. You know what, and if it's not perfect, it's okay. And then just continue working up your craft. So once you guys have your shells in place, I'm gonna pick mine up. This is kind of the format. You can, hopefully you guys can see it's not flat. I did build upon one shell for the other just because pineapples obviously are round. So I kind of envisioned this going round, but also up to create a pineapple. The next thing is going to be the pineapple top, the leaves, so to speak, at the top. The best way to create that, um, I don't have a stencil. I'm sure you can probably come up with something if you need it. Uh, just kind of do freehand. If you want, you can always use a pencil. Uh, I did put some on by pencil just so I could try to show you guys. The best thing I could tell you is try to do a line up um, if you're going to go straight up first and then make a line curve to the bottom so that gives it more of a leaf. So again you're going to go one line up then curve 
and then one line up and give it a curve and then one line up and then give it a curve. Now for the inside, um, kind of the same concept, but you want to go in between the bigger leaves. So again, you just want to go one line up and then curve. And I think that's going to give it the look that I'm hoping for. So the paint, um, I'm just using some regular green acrylic paint. You can choose to use yours if you have a theme in your house, gold, yellows, um, it doesn't really matter. If you want to use a paintbrush, if you have a really nice fine temp paintbrush, I would recommend using that. Um, sorry about that. The paint literally was like a ketchup bottle and exploded all over my hand. So I had some paint earlier and it was a little bit, I think a little bit too teal for me. So I'm just going to, instead of wasting it, I'm going to mix a little bit of the green with it. And hopefully that will give us some kind of a good color. And I, again, I'm using a Q-tip just because I seem to think I have a little bit more control than with the brush. Sometimes with those brushes that we have, um, the little hairs kind of stick out and kind of is going to go above where I want it. Um, so this should be kind of rather quick. And you want to make sure you don't get it on your shell. I might, well, actually I was gonna leave a little bit of space and I just changed my mind. I'm just gonna continue to go up on all of them. And color it in painted in, I guess I should say. And it's up to you how close you want it to go to your shells. With anything that we do, you know, you guys got to make it your own and be happy with it. And everybody can have fun doing this. Again, you can find some shells, buy some shells if you need to. But it's, of course, more fun if you go and collect them. So, this is cardstock. I didn't bother gluing it down, but this is the pineapple. And I think I might add another shell over here, but it's kind of fun. Good use of some shells, good memories. Instead of just having them in container, turn it into art. Um, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next week. Have fun, be creative, and stay safe. Bye-bye.